So we know very well what's going to happen. So, uh, so the, the, the sun runs out of hydrogen. Um, before then, actually, in about a billion and a half years, or a little bit less, the, the sun's gradually brightening, and it will brighten to the point where um, life on Earth becomes essentially impossible on the surface. Certainly, unless there's some quite radical adaptation, the, 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 the water tends to boil away. So you could imagine life subsurface, perhaps, but it becomes essentially un uninhabitable, certainly for us, in about 1. I don't know, 1.2, 1.3 billion years. So the sun's brighten, brightening, and it runs out of its fuel in about um, 5 billion years and starts in the core and starts swelling up and it turns into what's called a red giant. But it also, so it swells up, and just very naively, you could say, well, it's going to swell. It's certainly going to go past Mercury and engulf it, uh, probably Venus and engulf it. Earth is kind of on the edge, so it might come out to the position of the Earth today, but it also loses mass as it does it. And the radius of the Earth's orbit is proportional to the mass of the Sun. You decrease the mass of the Sun, you increase the radius of the Earth's orbit. So you can think of it as, the gravitational pull is less if you want. So, so, um, and so the Earth drifts out as the Sun loses mass. So most of the models that I'm aware of say that the Earth survives that. I think the Sun loses about half its mass ultimately, I think, and then, it, and then collapses into a white dwarf star. Yeah. So it'll still be there with about, I think, about half the mass that it has today. And the Earth will most likely be still in orbit around it.